Senator Kelly, what can you realistically accomplish right away if elected? Well, you know what I want to do is to build a New Hampshire that works for everyone. Um, and so I am going to focus immediately on the budget and make education a priority in my budget. And that's what I will do immediately. We must, we must invest in education, in public education. Um, I will not, and I will not uh, ever support a voucher program. I would veto a voucher program. I, you know that my opponent, uh, that is his significant, uh, he, that's his piece of legislation that he says if reelected, uh, he wants to bring back, and he's standing with Betsy DeVos on that. So it's education, moving that uh, uh, forward in the budget. I believe that every child, no matter where they live, where they were born, or what their family's income, has a right to uh, education and a public education, and that's what I would do on my first day to put, some, put legislation through. Governor, you were invoked, but you can answer the, the yeah. question. We have put more money to public education this past year than ever before. And when we talk about safe school infrastructure, $30 million. There was only one governor in this state that ever even proposed full day kindergarten, and we got it done. And it's returning millions of dollars back to property taxpayers, back to the cities and towns, so they can make that investment for their kids. We've moved the ball forward in public education. And the bill that, uh, I, that my opponent responded to. That bill only allowed flexibility for folks at the federal, federal poverty level and below. Those at the most lowest income scale, those are the only ones that can part participate because it's all about equal opportunity. It's all about giving a low income family the same opportunity as everybody else. Governor, that's a rebuttal and we oh, have a, a oh, follow on the question. You though. bet. Um, Governor, uh, what haven't you accomplished yet that you would make a priority if reelected? Well, I think to the tone of your question, we've accomplished a lot, right? We've really covered everything, everything from better health care and more choices for veterans and, and seniors. Uh, we've raised rates. I think the, the next thing we really need to focus on is the workforce initiative. Why, I, again, why I'm focusing so much uh, investment into the university system to double the number of health care workers in the state. I think that instead of go making government bigger this way, we have to really look at addressing, we've created such a robust economy with such high wages. We're almost, we are a victim, frankly, uh, of, of that success in that it's hard to, to bring workers in. I, I put 33 more DCYF workers to really address the issues with abused kids in the state. We're still having trouble filling those positions. So we have to look at increasing the wages there to make sure that we're competitive and those folks on the front lines of issues like mental health, opioids, abused kids, whatever it is, we've created the positions, but now we have to get our pay commensurate given that our economy is so strong.